M0FXB. Let's install PyStar Beta 4.3. It's the 28th of November 2024. Onto an SD card. Pop it into one of my hotspots, and I have several. Okay. And just see if we can see a difference. It is the beta version, and I'm just doing it for the sake of it. So we've gone to the download section, which I will link in, and here it is here. And the file we're interested in is this one here called PyStar RPI, the one with the little image in the middle. So not the white one above it. So when you hit download, and then open up Belina Extra, which you can download. Just put in Belina Extra into Chrome, download it. And the SD card is plugged into my PC with an adapter, USB micro SD, and it's a 16 GB SD card. We're going to go flash. Find where I saved it, and I saved it on my desktop in a program called Beta. And there it is there. There's the actual image. Double click. And then select target, which is the SD card in my PC. And then select, and then flash. And when it's finished flashing, yeah, we're going to put in our Wi-Fi details, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So go to PyStar Builder, which we will find just here, and I'll put a link in as well. It's called PyStar Builder. So here's PyStar, okay, and then go to Tools and then Builder. And you get this window, and in this window, you can add your username and password of the router at home and click submit and it will create a new file and put it in your downloads here and mine's uh, if i scroll down look it's called wpa okay that's the one we're going to use wpa supplicum so and uh, so you just put it in there submit and that gets created so we just wait for the Belina etcher to finish and then we'll see if we can fire up our hotspot now Hopefully, when we plug our hotspot in, which we've got here, we can actually, instead of having to take out the SD card, we should be able to just pop the one in that we've added our WPA supplicant to, and it, we should be able to just connect to it. Uh, and we use a program called Advanced IP Scanner to search our network. So if we go Start, there's Advanced IP Scanner opening now just here, when you click scan, it, it tells you everything on your network, on your Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and you're looking for the one that's called PyStar, and then you use that IP number it gives you to uh, type into your browser, and then you can configure your PyStar. So it's just validated now, it's gone very fast. Um, we'll let it do that, and then we'll add those details. So that has flashed successfully. We've got the WPA file, so we go to our yellow folder, look for pc because it's still plugged into our pc at the moment the sd card look for pc and then oh yeah you have to pl unplug it and plug it back in and it appears don't delete anything uh there it is there double click where it says g and then drag the other file that we've got the wpa that i just showed you so you go right click show in folder and then you have to reopen that other window so it's a bit faffy but you just drag in from one place to the other so there's the other on the left so that's my actual sd card this is the file that we created pystar builder you just drag it across let go and it's there and now you can just quickly grab the sd card which we've got in my hand uh here Okay, and we're going to pop that in and then just apply power and it should allow us to connect. So the gold side is underneath. Sorry about this. Uh, there you go. I'm going to go like that. You'll know when it goes in because it won't just fall out. <laughs> then just get your usual micro USB and power it, which was way over here. And then you've got to be patient. You've got to wait three or four minutes for it to fire up. So there it is there. We're waiting patiently. We'll run advanced IP scan as well. See if we can find it. So we've got this window here. If you've never used this, once you've downloaded it, advanced IP scan, just put that into Chrome. 
click play and it will scan everything that's connected to your Wi-Fi and hopefully one of them's called Pice. And that's actually worked. We did within the IP scanner, we found 192.168.0.114, perfect. And it took us straight to this page and all we need to do here, it's got the wrong call sign, is go to, and we're now running 4.3.0. Get the call, get my call sign in. We've got a radio in the background there as well, ready to fire up. That you can see there now. Now the hotspot's not showing anything, so we need to configure our call sign. So you go to configuration and the username is PyStar and the password is Raspberry. Then you go M0FXB. Actually, I'll use caps. FXB and the frequency of my radio, which you do have to put in the radio, is 431.550 simplex. And you do need to choose, you apply that first by clicking apply. Then you tell it what modem it's got. So that's confusing to you, but it's the hat that sits on top of the Raspberry Pi. So you, because there are several, click apply for now. Wait a couple of minutes while that reboots. The Wi-Fi is all up and running, so the uh, the WPA thing worked well. And we can still click all the update, but mind you saying that, I want to use the beta version. This is the beta version, remember, that we're doing. It looks the same, but, it, you know, I'm still glad I did it. <laughs> uh, we're just doing lots of Pi Star stuff today. I tend to do that. I tend to have fads. Um... And um, so, and it's an Anytone 878, that radio that you're seeing in the background. Uh, so, right, is that done now? Once it reboots, it's all, the screen will change. Once you click apply, the screen will start to change and then come back. But be patient. And the top of the hotspot usually says the words closed. So, yeah, you get a screen like this. And see, it's got this warning at the top, and that's because we haven't ever selected the type of modem that we're using. So many come pre-configured, but ours isn't. So click the drop down here, go past the ply at the top, go down past MMDVM host, go down to where it says general configuration, and then go to this little small radio modem, and then click like so. And look for STM32, and you want GPIO. And if you don't know what GPIO means, it's the pins on your Raspberry Pi. So once you've done that, I don't think there's much more you can figure yet until you've told it that's the one you're using. So back there, and just click Apply. And when it comes back, you're now going to be able to choose things like DMR, D-Star, Fusion. And you will need to put in your Brandmeister part Pass which is this page. If you've not ever used it, you need to create an account and log into Brandmeister. And up here it says M0FXB, that's my account. Click it and then click self-care here, self-care. And then on the lower left here, you put, a, you put any password you like and save. If you don't do that, then people won't hear you on the Brandmeister system, which is places like Talk Group 91 ETC. We're back here and then we're going to choose DMR. We need to put in our DMR number, actually. Yeah, again, we have to apply. So you put DMR, select DMR, but you could do D-Star. It's even got M17, look, you know, for people that like that. And YSF, but we will try M17, but another time. And then we're going to go apply. Okay. And then this, once that applies, it's going to give us the chance now to add our DMR number, because it won't work without your DMR number. And you can register for DMR. Just Google um, DMR registration. But you do need a ham radio license to register. So back on Pi Star. Now it will now allow us to put in our DMR number. 2341437 is mine. And then also we can select Brandmeister. Just next to the words DMR. That's UK. But you might be in the USA. Choose your one. And then get your password in. The same one that you used and again apply and this time when it boots up as long as we did we oh we never told it oled screen so just let it boot up we need to tell it what screen it's got otherwise the screen will stay black and that's under the word mmdvm host look near the top just here you want that to say oled so just let that quickly reboot and it, it will come to life already and i'll show you the dashboard and there are 
buttons up here where you can click update and upgrade. If you hit expert, then you can upgrade. And there's a calibration thing, which is great fun for your BER loss. If, uh, if you know what that means, it basically means if you're slightly off frequency, DMR will start to cut out and sound Dalek-y like R2-D2. So the Calibrate allows this adjustment for that. I find that they're very accurate now. Very rare I have to use the Calibrate, but I'll probably show it you anyway. So uh, is that just waiting for that to reboot again and then we'll do the OLED screen. You know, and, and really getting a hotspot is so essential. If, you're, if you've got a digital radio there, you look OLED near the top, OLED, and just click apply. If you've got a hotspot, if you've got a DMR, D-Star, Fusion Radio, and you're not using a hotspot, you are literally mad, literally mad, yeah? You're missing out. It's basically like having, and I've got a really cool looking one here, that's a dual hotspot, yeah? I love this little thing. Yeah, um, it's like having a, a repeater on a hill, but in your actual, in the room of your house. Um, how could that not be fun? So if we just bring this up, so you should see this hotspot come to life now, with the screen should start to come to life now that I've told it. It's using OLED, um, with fingers crossed. And remember, hit the like, subscribe, and you should also hear the radio start to receive some traffic. But even if we don't, we've done all the configuration. Sometimes, you know, you might have to reboot that kind of thing. So the screen has changed. I look, look at the screen on the hotspot now. We're starting to see some flickering there. And what does it actually say? Initialization, that says. With fingers crossed. I mean, the screen works. Just need Pi Star to come to life. While it's doing that, or trying to do that, I'm going to quickly show you the dashboard by clicking dashboard here. When you get activity, when it's all connected, it says it all here on the left. Yeah. Uh, and then go to config, and I'll, I'll quickly show you the calibrate window. Look at that. And I've done a whole video on this dashboard it's still not quite connected yet but be patient we can have a look at the config make sure we haven't got anything wrong dmr 2341437 the frequency is correct that we need to make just double check our thing so and we're connected to the internet so really even though we're not hearing a thing on our hotspot at the moment really we are ready to use our hotspot with 4.3.0 and i'll just key up yeah look there look at the hotspot did you see that uh it did show me keying up so maybe it's just quiet at the moment but yeah great stuff i'm gonna end on a high i do like the yellow and blue hotspot slot two and it's given us our ip address on there as well and then when people speak um you'll see it and actually with the regarding the display I, I can see that on the beta version it's not scrolling but you can turn on scrolling um there's so much you can do configuration if you go expert uh and then go to where is there expert and there's low i mean i just sit here sometimes and just flick through all these you've got the update thing here if you go to expert and then look at all this you can actually do an ssh screen which is like the black screen um api key uh, which we can do if i go to let me just show you this little trick see the way it's quiet at the moment watch this trick if i go to my brandmeister at the moment it's there's no what they call static talk group if i put in here 91 send it across like so and let's do two, three, five, one, which is CQ UK. And then what it will do, the hotspot will just start looking for activity on those two talk groups, and they're always quite busy. And so this is on Brandmeister, look. So that might that might bring it to life. We go back to the hotspot. 
and I'll just quickly show you I know I, there was a radio in the way there so just show you that again look you just go 91 here send it across with the arrow 251 and 91 just here back to the hot spot and then we'll end the video because it's just not happening regarding activity while I'm here, I might as well hit the update button just for fun. So all you do is go to config and then just click update. Look, it's updating everything here. And it does it all automatically. It's so clever. You'll even get a message telling you to update. And look at all this. It's all going on. It's updating a lot of things. Well, we'll do the upgrade as well while we're here. You've got to thank Andy Taylor and everyone else involved for Pistar. We get it for free and they do all this work, keeping it up to date and just inventing it in the first place. Thank you, everyone that was involved. So it's now saying updating host files, updating dashboard, updating VAR, branch master. Still going strong. Wow. And then we're going to do the upgrade as well. Once it says starting services and complete, finished, then I go back to config. Yeah, like so. And then I'll do update, upgrade, expert, and then up. Let's do, should we, I'm not sure if that update is the same. Let's try it. Might as well do it all over here. And this is what I love about hotspots. You can just sit here for hours just tinkering. Yeah, they're still doing no updates. Da -da -da. No updates. So it's checking everything and it's pretty much saying that you are update updated. So that's fine. It worked. It is doing a bit more updates. Firewall. No, I don't think it did. I think it's already done it. Starting services again. And it'll give you the finish thing. It's such a cool program, isn't it? For a ham radio person. Finished. So we'll go config. Like so. Expert and then this time upgrade. And it says detected Pi Star 4.30 running on RPI hardware attached to STM32 modem. You already run the latest upgrade process complete and then dashboard. So, what I'll do if it doesn't come to life, it'll, I'll just reboot it a few times. I'm sure it. It will come to life. Thanks so much for watching my channel. It's been uh, quite a video. Great fun. Bye for now. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Catch you on air. 7-3.